What's going on guys? So today uh, we're gonna have a very short review here. You could even call it a quickie if you want to. Uh, it's gonna be something just a little interesting that I picked up from BBTS. And it is gonna be this little guy here. It says Rambler Mechanic Beast. Or Mechanic Beast Rambler. Come over here. Mechanic Beast Rambler. Come around here, you got all the warnings and such. If you come to the top, you get a very cool little logo there. I really like this. I love the fact that there's five sides to this box, and every side is a little different in one way or another. Um, never heard of this company, uh, so this should be interesting. It's got a little paw thing there with a warning. you got an authentication kind of logo there, so they're really worried about their, their stuff getting ripped off. Interesting. I guess, is this MX-01? Interesting. Uh, materials is ABS. Cool, cool. And this is a little bit of like a kind of shoebox style uh, packaging. And it does get the whole suction thing. And it's got a foam insert and even a, look at this little nylon, nylon bag to protect, which is pretty interesting. So they're pretty proud of this guy. Um, so let's go ahead and get him out here so I can show you what it actually is. Because, I mean, the images can only tell you so much on the box. All right, let's go. And there we go. There's a little Rambler boy. Um, basically, it's a little, it's a little robotic bulldog. There, there's not much else going on. That's it, literally what he is. Um, it is painted to the nines. I mean, like, look at this super glossy red with the red racing stripes. You got a, he's got a V6 in there, which is interesting. You got some nice, you know, metallic gunmetally paint here. You got black. Some yellow paint going on there. Same thing here. Good little uh, <laughs> uh, exhaust pipes, for lack of a better term. Um, and, yeah. I said, okay, G01 Gambler. Nice little emblem there. No idea. More gunmetal paint up here. That chip already? No, it's maybe metal flake. And yeah, it's just pretty much all he is. Um, now, when I got this, I honestly thought it was going to be bigger. This this guy is not very big. I mean, for those who know, there's Wally. I mean, he's probably maybe ultimately three times Wally size. You know, here he is next to a Plunderling. So you know, those guys are roughly three, three and a half inches tall. So He's, he's, he's there, you know, he's, he's about three inches or so, and then a little longer than that. Um, and it doesn't transform or anything like that. It is just basically like a robot dog. I love that you get some like yellow and blue hoses back inside here. Underneath you got some pistons and another like black plastic hose right here. And I got the whole underside, same thing here underneath the jaw. Now, unfortunately, he is very much a static figure. You can pose a little bit. You can move the legs. So the legs, front legs can move back and forth about that far, you know, revealing a bit more of the engine kind of inside. And they do bend at the knee, but like only a few clicks. It is ratcheted. You get a ratcheted little foot motion here that also moves this piston. Doesn't go much further than that. And he does have a little... Looks like he's wearing shoes, which is cute. Kind of straighten his feet -ums if you want like, out like that. Rear legs can come pretty far back. And then utilizing the toes can go straight back like that. And it's already kind of straight here. I don't... Yeah, so you get a little bit of motion here. So this is kind of a double jointed knee, just not much of a joint here. It's lightly ratcheted, like it's got a super, like really kind of gritty feel for lack of a better term. But the fact you can get the foot really straight is cool. Let's see how forward can we go. Uh, only there, it, it does not go any further forward. I think it's hitting this piston, yeah. But you can't force it any farther forward. But I mean, that gives him kind of the ability to sit like that, if you if you play around with the feedums, or you got a little bit of a, a lay down motion like that. 
you know, basically you've only got just the four legs and feet to try to get any posing out of them you want. And that is literally it. There, there's not much else you're going to get anywhere. And the front legs are actually the more restricted, but you can get them in a, in an okay pose. Like so, you know, just playing around with it a little. You know, you can get them in a dog pose. They have them, uh, in the advertising, they have them literally, like, leaping. Like he's running at full tilt, you know. Back legs, back, front legs, forward. Like that. <laughs> I think, so it's like... Ah. Um, unfortunately, even the ears aren't posable. And I figured if you wanted to get any kind of emotion out of this guy, you would need the ears to be posable. Like... It even looks like they should rotate, but as far as I can tell, you can't. That is a very glued-in thing. But I would have put a rotation joint there, maybe even a big ball joint to really get some articulation out of there. I mean, he's even got clear eyes. Or maybe they're not even clear, are they? Hold on. No, it's just painted, and then it's got a dished eye there to really give that ring. I mean, it's got some life in him. I mean, even the nose is slightly textured and uh, raw plastic look here. The jaw's good. He's got his, like, little whisker holes there, you know. And it's kind of hard to tell. I, mean, I guess he's supposed to be more English Bulldog, but he's also got a hint of uh, French Bulldog in there, too. A little bit. I mean, it's just stubby. I like this one. What does it say back here? Uh, Deeker Rally. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a story behind this to some degree. Um, there's only two of these things in the line, from what I could tell, a green one and the red one. And what would be awesome is if they had a blue one, because uh, I would get it and I would name it Shelby. Um, I don't really have a name for him, though. I know Rambler is technically supposed to be his name, but um, I, don't, I don't know if I really want it to be that he just looks like he could be something else but i mean like the workmanship is pretty cool like i guess these are supposed to be like suspension parts sticking up through here um you can't take off any of the panels that's another thing that would have been cool is like remove the panels and see like the uh the stuff underneath but no can't do that that actually legit looks like a, a paint chip or something yeah it's a little a uh, little nub because it's supposed to basically be like if there was a hot rod car version of a, you know, robot dog. But the mix of metallic paints, the just regular plastics and stuff like that, really does make it feel like an actual tiny robot dog. And he's really cute and really cool looking. But it's kind of expensive for something that is just this. Basically, the equivalent of a die cast car realistically um i actually had a couple of those <laughs> very similar you know like a one 120th or 124 scale die cast car you know it's very similar now as far as i can tell he doesn't have die cast i did an out the box uh, for this guy where i thought he had die cast because everything really legitimately felt cold and it's so smooth but i guess it's just abs i don't see any metal on him uh to be totally honest couldn't even tell you how it's assembled probably all just glued in place panels like, everything is fit really, really well. Nothing is sticking out. No exposed screw holes, right? Let me look. No. No, no exposed screw holes. I mean, it's a really well done figure. It's just, considering what he cost, which is in the 60 some odd dollar range, I don't think so. And, you know, for a small-ish Chinese company that nobody's ever heard of, that's a lot of money up front for just two figures. Now, mind you, I didn't get the other one. I just got this one. But I, I don't want to say I regret it. I just saying I'm slightly disappointed, if nothing else, by the size. But also, like, the lack of posability. Like, you could have had the head rotate. At least give me the ears. And believe me, I've put some torque on those ears enough that... It should have made something move if it was meant to. The back legs were fairly frozen, especially this one was really frozen in place when I got it. It took some real working to make sure it actually did the thing. The ankles down here for the actual feet were super frozen, um, so that took a while too. But 
ultimately, it's a very cool thing that just kind of throw on your shelf. It doesn't have much else going on. Now, if they continue this line with other dogs and stuff like that, or other animals that come out pretty cool, maybe I'll look at them more. Uh, definitely, if they get a blue one, I'll probably get it. But so far, it's just the green one and the red one, which I assume just, you know, sort of imitating, uh, I would guess, kind of European race car situation. Oh, I didn't realize this was this loose here. I've got to tighten this back up before my tripod falls apart. There we go. Sorry, you had to hear that. But yeah, it's it's basically like a European race car. I would say like the green one is probably something in the uh, British racing series. Maybe even German and red would be probably closer to something Italian. If I had to guess, you know. But still, it's a cool thing. I like the design of it. It's a very cool study of a robot creature. Not to mention, it just, you know, definitely is referencing hot rods and race cars of the era. Even like the vented hood of the head here, like which is pretty cool. Hey guys, that's going to be it for this quick little review. I hope you have liked it. If you're interested, uh, go check out BBTS. It'll be they have them there. You know, if you're if you're interested, you can probably find them elsewhere, but that's where I got them from. So, I'll see you guys next time. Remember, as always, keep on nerdy.